How you going? Mick here at Diggermate. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to attach an auger to a mini excavator. Want the best rates on mini excavators and tight access earth moving equipment? Go to diggermate.com.au and get it done with Diggermate. If you're going to need to drill holes, then you're going to need an auger. So the auger comes in two parts with the auger driver and the actual auger bit. We're going to show you how to connect it. So first, uh, you need to have the auger laying down with the hoses up. So when the auger is attached, you can actually see the hoses. So if you go down in the ground, you know if you're, um, if you're going to be hitting the hoses or if you're going to be causing any damage to the auger. The second bit is make sure the hitch is on and make sure the, the top pin is in place. So if the pin's at the bottom, you're not going to be able to pick it up. In this case, we've already taken the bucket off and we're going to use the bucket pin as the second pin on the hitch once the auger has been lifted up. Now you've got to mind the carpet here. Our good friends at Auger Talk have given us a brand new uh, X2000 auger for this demo. So we've just got a bit of carpet on the ground just to protect it. Uh, you don't always need to have the carpet. So away we go. Once you've picked up the auger, you can just use your pin, same as the, uh, the buckets. Okay, and then we uh, just connect this pin on the other side. Once you've got the auger hooked up to the hitch, it's time to connect the hydraulics. It's, it's always good to have a rag handy to clean out the connections before you put them on. Okay, we've got a male and a female end here, so you can't get it wrong. These are nice and clean already because it's a brand new one. But basically, you just pull that back, hook it on like so. All right, and same on this side. Make sure there's uh, no dirt, grime, rocks in there, and just connect. Once the auger is connected and the hydraulics are connected, you then need to connect the auger bit. Now, this is a two person job. Some real clever operators think they can do it by themselves, but really, you need a mate to help you. We're just going to stand this right here. The operator is going to lift the auger driver up and into the hole. We're going to uh, twist the auger, and then we're going to connect the pin. Okay, in this case, I've just twisted the auger, hold it there. Send the pin through, put the locking pin on and you're ready to drill holes. The operation of the auger is pretty simple. There's a foot control and the auger will go in forward and reverse. Depending on how much pressure you put on your foot, that will determine how fast it'll spin. Obviously the revs have a little bit to do with it as well. Same safety rules apply. Uh, dozer blade should always be down and don't work too far away from you. Keep it reasonably close uh, to ensure that the machine doesn't tip. Thanks for watching. To get the best prices on machinery hire, book machines, see specs and availability, go to diggermate.com.au. If you found this video useful, please be a mate of ours and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the share link below and share this with your friends and give us a thumbs up.